Hey guys, welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform in Namibia known as Ndunawe Ngombe, which means headman of cattle. My name of course is Mitchell Mutumba Simata, aka the headman of cattle. So today, I want to do a video that I promised uh, you guys, the subscribers, the viewers that I would do when I did the Kalari goat. I felt I should do another goat video today, which is Monday. It is the white African goat breed known as the Savanna goat. It's a Savanna buck, not a ram, a buck. That's a savanna doe, not a not an ewe. That's a savanna doe with some lamb. I mean, not lambs, but with kids. Lambs are for sheep. Kids are for goats. So this is a this are goat kids down there. That's the white savanna goat. So let's get into some of the history and the origins of the breed. As you know, in 1955, the first white savanna goats were developed on a farm near the Fall uh, River, near the Fall River, owned by Mr. D. S. U. Saliers and Sons. One of, the one of the founding uh, breeds that led to the development of the savanna goat was the indigenous multicolored lobed ear goat. The savanna goat is therefore an indigenous goat that was specifically developed for the harsh extreme conditions of southern Africa. They are able to, they are able to survive in extreme uh, sunshine slash heat, sunshine or heat, rain, rain or cold areas. In 1993, the savanna goat was officially recognized as a breed and the breeder society was founded. So it was founded, recognized in 1993, and the breed society was founded in 1993, in the same year. But the breeding started in 19, 19, 1955. So let's continue. The savannas are, are, are a prime meat, uh, goat, meat goats that produce delicious, mild-tasting chevron and lots of it. While they resemble burgoats, while they resemble their burgoat cousins, in all but coloration, savannas are hardier, making them ideal goats for low-maintenance input operations and crossing with burgoats and other meat and dairy breeds to increase hardiness and meatiness in the offsprings. Savannah goats have long, have long broad muscle bodies. Those weigh in between. Lightest would be 56, the heaviest would be 907 kgs. And bucks bucks weigh the lightest would be 90 the heaviest would be 113 kgs or could weigh more savannah have a bur look about them but are somewhat less roman nosed most have a slight shorter most have slight shorter ears most have slight shorter ears bucks and to a lesser degree some uh, does display loose supply skin folds over their chest neck or a chest chest or neck a trait that's being bred out of out of their show goats, out of their show goats, the burkin. The horns are strong, wide, are strong and widely placed, and of a moderate length. They are curved straight backwards from the crown of the head before gradually turning out in a symmetrical, symmetrical curve. Grow backwards, they grow backwards, but then they will curve forward. So I believe they do. They have this form type of curve. The savannas have short white coats with black skin, horns, nose, sexual organs, and hooves. Savannah bucks are aggressive breeders and those are, those are peer, peerless mothers. Savannah's, Savannah does, Savannah does are protective, fertile. Their kids, they kid with ease and, and two or four kids are a gnome in a litter. So they could give birth to twins or give birth to four uh, goat Kids, not lambs. I was about to say lambs, but it's kids. So continuing, savannah goats breed year-round. They were selected for, for strong jaws, long-lasting uh, teeth, and sound legs, so they could stand on their hind legs to to and, and uh, could stand on their hind legs effectively to effectively browse uh, brushes, leaves, and any other green and any other green thing they any other green things in their harsh environment. They easily endure heat, heat, and cold. Savannas are tough as a, are tough as a goat can be. If you are looking for a productive meat breed that that doesn't require cuddling, seek no further than this breed, which is the savanna breed. So it gets a high reputation for being hardy. It gets a high. I mean, it, it, you look at them and say it's a very good hardy breed. Um, Savannah bucks are proud, robust, and masculine, with great muscular with great mus muscling on the body. 
Savannah goats are excellent walkers and able to travel long distance in search of water and forage. So that's the that's the top part of them. A top part of them, and they can survive in in high temperature, high, highly tol high, highly tolerant to heat and parasites. They have a docile temperament and are easily easily manageable, with good pigmentation, a favorable a favorable asset in hot harsh environments. So that's what you want to look at. That's what you want to look at. I see two different weights. I believe this weights I gave you guys are probably in South Africa. But the weights I'm getting here in Namibia, they said mature weight, matured uh, bucks could weigh about 110 and matured females could weigh about 60 kgs. So I believe that's a difference in South Africa. And I also believe it's different in environments. So it's a comp it's an indigenous and a composite breed. Meaning indigenous, it's indigenous to Africa. But composite meaning it was crossed out of other breeds. It's a medium-framed uh, breed, and in Namibia, it, 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 its occurrence is scarce, but I believe there are a few farmers that do breed them. They're not as popular or as widespread as your uh, burgoot, the, 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 the brown-headed and white-bodied uh, burgoot, but you do find them. So those are the savannah goats. As I say again, this is what a savannah buck would look like, not a ram, a buck. Very good. See good horns, good beard, good, mus good muscling on the body. The hind legs look very strong, because these guys stand on their hind legs to uh, eat some leaves from a, from a, from a tree shrub or a tree bush. Um, that's, a, that's a doe, which is a savannah female. As you guys can see, feminine looking. Not The ears aren't really that long, all white. And that's a, a doe with some uh, kids. Not lambs, but kids. They say it, one doe could give birth to two or give birth to four kids. So that's the, that's the white savannah goat. Probably we might have had some experience with it and we never just knew what the breed is. So those are my two cents with the Savannah Goat developed by the by Mr. DSU Saliers and Sons in the Fall River area of South Africa. This was in 1955. With that said, guys, I just want to say, do me two favors. If you enjoy the content that I put out in this video, give me a huge uh, like down there, give me a huge th thumbs up. And the second thing would be to subscribe to the page and turn on the bell notification so you guys are notified of future uploads of such videos in future. With that said, guys, I just want to say, Bye for now.